you gaping at, you piece of shit? Looking for a punch in the face, are I'll you? I'll slaughter you. Well, come on, then. Gone weak to the knees, have you? Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Lost your wind. Mandrake roots taken straight from the gallows at midnight. Greetings. Would you teach me? Certainly. I want to. You can't be. Well. Is Adela still working here? What do you want Adela for? Ain't my tits big enough for you? Uh, yes, plenty big. But I really need to speak to Adela. Home do you know where she is? Again. How should I know? Go and ask Madame. May the Lord watch over you. What are you looking for? You'd better not disturb anyone here. I've got an important guest. What are you looking for? You'd better not disturb anyone here. Christ! Is that Adela crying in that room? Aye, uh, it's a bit unpleasant. Unpleasant? That fellow was beating her up. The gentleman is a little on the rough side, but he pays well, and the bruises will heal soon enough. I want to talk to her. You can't now. The door stays locked, and the key stays safely with me. Wait until tomorrow. She could be killed in there. And do you think the bailiff wouldn't hold you responsible, sitting here and doing nothing to stop it? You really think she could be? Do you? God almighty. Here, take the key. Please, help her. Marush won't let you beat me. What? Are you yanking my pizzle? I said get out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for Adela. For Adela? But I paid for that whore! Don't call her a whore. 
She fucks for money, you idiot. She is a whore. Easy. Easy. Now fuck off, you piece of shit, before I break your arms for you. Come and try it, you piece of shit. Murtka. Fucker. Is... This will be interesting. Damn! Fuck! <laughs> What in God's name have you done? I... I, I saved you. Oh, my God. Henson will kill me if Marouche doesn't first. Everything will be all right. Henry, if it wasn't for the fact that you saved Hinnick, I'd slap your face. Leave this place. I'll help you. What? Why? What are you on about? You don't have to live in this rat hole anymore. We'll leave together. Who gave you that idea? Johanka. What Johanka are you talking about, for God's sake? She's from Scalitz, like me. Just an innocent girl. They all claim that. But she really is. How could you know that? Because... Because maybe the Virgin Mary speaks to her. What? The Blessed Virgin started visiting Johanka in her dreams. Visiting? Well, that's how Johanka put it. Like visitations in which she spoke to her. But why would the Virgin choose her to speak to? It was only on account of her that the wounded from Scalitz got to Sassau. Although they didn't have it easy there either. I heard they took them in at the monastery. Aye. But they didn't exactly bend over backwards to help them there. Johanka had to take care of them on her own. Most of them wouldn't have lived without her. Look, when I came to see her the first time, after Scalitz, she was destroyed. And they wanted to drive her out of the monastery. She could have just gone. But she didn't want to stop helping the others. But what's any of that got to do with me? It was Johanka who sent me to you. She had visions at night. And according to these visitations, she believes she has a duty to save sinners. And you believe in these visitations? I'm not sure. But I believe in Johanka. I... I'd like to believe too. Well, why don't you try it then? How? Like I should just drop everything here, pack my things and go off to see someone I don't even know? Well... When you put it like that, it does sound a bit peculiar. I should say so. It's madness. It's like starting all over from the beginning. And why did you become, uh, you know... A... a prostitute? Yeah. If you're expecting to hear some touching tale about a poor girl tossed around by fate, you'll be disappointed. I didn't want a husband and I needed money. So just for money? What do you think I do it for? Love? Have you got a problem with that? Well, yes. Money isn't everything, you know. Is that right? So you've never been with a bathmaid? Well, yes, but that was quite another matter. Oh, a secret mission, was it? Um... They all have some excuse. So what else should I do, in your opinion? Why don't you get married? You're a pretty girl, and a husband would look after you. Any idea how many husbands I see in here, while their wives are at home with black eyes looking after a pack of brats? You won't avoid black eyes here. What about your last customer? At least he pays for it. You can just find yourself a different livelihood. Why? What's wrong with the one I have?
Haven't you ever thought of doing something different? Like what? Well, wouldn't you like to help the sick? That's a lot of work, isn't it? Yes, but you'd have nothing to be ashamed of. I suppose not. But I still think I'm better off here. What about when you get older? Do you think the men will still come to you? That's true, unfortunately. You'll get old. And no one wants a dried up, wrinkled old whore. I... I know. But that's a long way off. It'll come sooner than you expect, believe me. I'm not sure. I don't think it's all that bad here. You don't care that you're living in sin? So? Virtue won't put food on my table. And can you live with it? What do you mean? Are you able to respect yourself? I have my pride. Well, good for you. But don't you want something more? Something to make you really proud of yourself? Well, maybe. But what? Haven't you ever wanted to help others? I don't know if I could do that. You won't know until you try. I don't think I want to just try something without knowing how it'll turn out. But I still think I'm better off here. But you're a pariah. No one will talk to you. What do I care about anyone else? Let them look out for themselves and I'll do the same. You don't care what other people think? They can think what they like. You won't always be able to manage on your own whether you like it or not. So what? Well, look at the refugees from Scalitz. Do you think they'd have managed on their own without the help of Sir Hannes? No, I suppose not. Just so. People should stick by each other. But I still think I'm better off here. Sorry, but this is going nowhere. But we were just... To tell the truth, I don't believe you much. Here I have some certainty, at least. Oh, well, it's your decision. You'll have to answer to God Almighty, though. That's my affair. May the Lord watch over you.
Is Adela still work? What do you want, Adela? Uh, How should I know? Take care. What are you looking for? You'd better not disturb anyone here. You'd better not disturb you Christ! Is that Adela crying in that room? Ah, uh, it's a bit unpleasant. Unpleasant? That fellow is beating her up. The gentleman is a little on the rough side, but he pays well, and the bruises will heal soon enough. I want to talk to her. You can't now. The door stays locked, and the key stays safely with me. Wait until tomorrow. She could be killed in there. And you think the bailiff wouldn't hold you responsible, sitting here and doing nothing to stop it? You really think she could be? God almighty. Here, take the key. Please, help her. won't let you beat me like that. What the fuck are you doing here? Are you yanking my pizzle? I'm not going anywhere. For Adela? I'm sure we can come to some agreement. Have you any idea the shit I can land you in if I have a word with the bailiff? The bailiff doesn't care about some whore. Maybe, maybe not. He might care about your sodomy, though, if I give him an eyewitness account. Fucking hell. What do you want from me? Get out. What will I do now? Fuck! I don't need this shit. But you haven't heard the last of this, fucker! I'll cut your fucking throat for that! What in God's name have you done? I... I, I saved you. Oh, my God. Hedslin will kill me if Marouche doesn't first. Everything will be all right. Henry, if it wasn't for the fact that you saved Hinnick, I'd slap your face. Leave this place. I'll help you. What? Why? What are you on about? Why do you live like this? Why don't you just leave? How? Like I should just drop everything here, pack my things and go off to see someone I don't even know? Well, when you put it like that, it does sound a bit peculiar. I should say so. It's madness. It's like starting all over from the beginning. And why did you become, uh, you know... A, a prostitute. Yeah. If you're expecting to hear some touching tale about a poor girl tossed around by fate, you'll be disappointed. I didn't want a husband, and I needed money. So just for money? What do you think I do it for? Love? Have you got a problem with that? No. Everyone has to make a living, but you don't have to be a... a bathmaid. So what else should I do, in your opinion? You can just find yourself a different livelihood. Why? What's wrong with the one I have? What about when you get older? Do you think the men will still come to you? That's true, unfortunately. You'll get old. And no one wants a dried-up, wrinkled old whore. I... I know. But that's a long way off. It'll come sooner than you expect, believe me. I'm... 
still not sure. Haven't you ever thought of doing something different? Like what? Well, wouldn't you like to help the sick? That's a lot of work, isn't it? Yes, but you'd have nothing to be ashamed of. I suppose not. You know, you might be right about some things. So you'll leave it? But how? Where would I go? What would I live on? Wouldn't you like to help in the infirmary at Sasau Monastery? Would they let me? You're a bathmaid who knows something about healing. They'd be glad to have you. But where will I live? There, of course. It's modest, but you'll have everything you need. I'm not used to much anyway. See then? I reckon you've nothing to worry about. All right. Will we go right away? We can go right now. Come on then. All right. I'll just say farewell to the girls and pack a few things. Mother of God, <laughs> I'm all in a flutter. To pack up and go, just like that. You're doing the right thing. You'll see. Good luck then. I told you I wasn't done with you yet. I'll hang you up by the balls from the outside. Ah! Just one out. You're Go. dead. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> Bring it on. Don't play Della. You horse. <laughs> Bollocks. You. Is that all you got? Henry. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. It's you they were after mostly. And are you all right? Ah, just a scratch or two. Those idiots didn't know who they were taking on. Good. The sooner we go, the better. I don't want to stay here any longer. Let's go then. God be with you.
Here we are. Give it a while and you'll be happy here. Believe me. Oh, Henry. I'm starting to have a good feeling about this. Maybe I'll really find happiness here. I'm sure you will. Your hanker will take care of you. She's very good at that. You know, you're the first one to do something for me without expecting anything. And I don't have anything to give you, unless... if you wanted. For one last time, together. One last time? Why not? astray and tempts them into all sorts of things god be with you my good man likewise pilgrim and to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit who sent you here sent us no one but the holy spirit and our Christian duty. I see. Well, my Christian duty prompts me to give a bit of coin to those in need. What do you say? Are you in need? Hmm. Well, thanks for the, uh, arms. Listen, here's how it is. Some of the important citizens here don't care for Johanka talking nonsense about visitations from the Virgin Mary. And there are certain good wives who think she's up to no good. They don't like it that their husbands are hanging around here. And there's talk that she's got something with a custodian and who knows who else. And we're just here to warn decent people about the iniquities going on here. Uh-huh. Is that so? Well, now you've warned me, you can clear off. Well... I'm afraid we don't want to do that. I'm in no mood for listening to horseshit from the likes of you. You're going to regret causing trouble for your hanker. I'm going to enjoy this. Is that all you've got? Well then. You're dead. Christ. <laughs> 